Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event of WrestleMania 35 and welcome to the season 7 finale of the Ryan Rage Career Universe. Tonight, history will be made as both the Universal and Intercontinental Championships will be on the line in a 2 on 2 DLC match. We will see the team of Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins going head to head with the Blackpool Combat Club's very own Ryan Rage and Dean Ambrose. And don't forget that both Rage and Ambrose's WWE contracts expire tonight at midnight. Which means if they are victorious here tonight, they will leave the WWE with its two top championships. Remember that CM Punk already left the WWE with the WWE World Heavyweight Championship a year ago. Will Rage and Ambrose pull this off? Or will they be stopped by the WWE's two top superstars? We are about to find out. And this main event match is under great point reach of the strong stone dropping seat rollers immediately. Then his attention to Roman Reigns. Seat rolling to control of the Ambers early on. Roman Reigns also managed to reverse Reigns. Back to the driver's seat now. Reigns takes on both Roman and Seat with a huge springboard dive. Reigns almost immediately making it back to his feet. Seth Rollins also in the meantime, back to his feet as this fight continues one range. Seth Rollins running range with a blue thunderbomb to Seth Rollins running range now from behind with a hit bump to one range but he gets stopped by Dean Ambrose and one range can turn his attention back to Seth Rollins while what a start to this match. Dean Ambrose now Pushing a ladder into the screen. Very early on, weapons getting involved. Remember, anything goes in this history making DLC match here tonight. For the first time, who knows how long a tag team match is the main event of WrestleMania. I think we've only seen one tag team match in the main event of WrestleMania. WrestleMania 1, if I'm not mistaken. So all four of these men is a part of history here tonight the godness of the outcome Ambrose setting up a ladder in the middle of the beam and Seth Rollins taking the opportunity to climb to the top of the ladder he's now looking to unhook the Universal Championship but he gets stopped by Dean Ambrose's wide range Springboard dropkick knocking the ladder out from underneath Seth and Dean Ambrose pulls him off of that title. Ryan Rage goes for a huge shooting stop. Gray Springboard dive to the outside. But Seth Rollins managed to reverse Rage almost immediately back in the driver's seat. No! Rollins with another reversal back and forward. They go! Rage now tossing Ambrose, tossing Rollins into the barricade. Ambrose in control of Roman Reigns inside the ring to make him a boot to the head of Roman Reigns. What does Reigns have in mind here? He throws Seth Rollins like a dog into that three post. Reigns and Ambrose now with the same thing in mind. Clearing those announcer stables. Reigns now turning his attention to Roman Reigns inside the ring but it looks like he wants to take the fight with Roman Reigns. To the outside as well. What a switch up in my view. He misses a huge springboard moonsault. He didn't see Roman Reigns move out of the way. Reigns went for that table but was stopped by Rage before he could do too much. Ambrose and Rollins now in the ring, battling it out. Rage now passing Roman Reigns onto that ring apron. The team Ambrose searching for another victim to use a table from underneath the green. Roman Reigns in control of one Rage on the outside now. But all four men finally back in the ring. For the first time since the start of this match, Seth Rollins again 
Going for the Universal Championship on three avenues. For Vince McKinnon, remember that the Intercontinental Championship is on the line as well, even though we can't see it hanging high up off the ring. Hopefully in 2K24, we get something like that, that would be awesome. Team Ambers now, looking to hook that title, but St. Paul's is back to his feet, ready to defend Team Ambers, yes he does. Now he's making a power bomb on top of that ladder as Roman Reigns. He's beating the whole out of Roman Reigns with a steel chair. Reigns finally back in control, St. Williams with a crown suplex to the Anders in the middle of the ring. Why Reigns now running Roman Reigns up against that match is taken by Roman Reigns. Managing to reverse in time before Rage to put him through that announcer stable seat. Woman's also in control and starts to win. Roman Reigns continues the assault with that steel chair. Safe Wallace and Dean Ambers now making it to the top of that ladder. Back and forth they go. But Dean Ambers is the one that manages to knock St. Wallace off of the ladder. What does he have in mind next? He dives on top of Wallace from the top of the ladder and immediately picks him back up. It looks like he's going for a power bomb. And he tosses St. Wallace out of the ring and now goes to the top of that ladder again. What the hell does Ambers have in mind here? A dive from top of the ladder to the outside. We can see this is WrestleMania. And it's the main event of WrestleMania. What a WrestleMania moment that was. Team Ambers with a huge dive on top of Seth Rollins. In the meantime, Brian Reigns gaining control back over Roman Reigns. Now lining him up against that announcer table as well. But he managed to put Roman Reigns to that table this time. He didn't succeed in his first attempt. Reigns to the top rope and a huge moonsault connects. Putting Roman Reigns to the announcer table where the Hall is Dean Ambrose taking Seth Rollins. He has taken him to the backstage area. Dean Ambrose now tossing Sick Wallens onto a table and four steel chairs. Sick Wallens has just got him. The living heart beat it out of him. Roman Reigns in the meantime preventing Brian Wage from winning this match by knocking him off of that ladder. Roman Reigns in firm control of this match at the moment, going for the guillotine. If you can chunk on point Reigns, you can climb that ladder. Safe Wallace and Dean Ambrose doesn't even know what's like going on in the ring right now. So like still this battling it out. In the backstage area, it looks like the fight has spread to the back, to the parking lot with Dean Ambrose. Has just thrown Seth Rollins through a car window. Roman Reigns choking out Brian Wage. What does he have in mind next? It looks like he's lining Brian Wage up for a spear. If Roman Reigns can land this, he no doubt has this match won. Backstage, Dean Ambrose making a shot to the head of Rollins with that car bonnet. Brian Wage in the meantime has gotten back up to his feet. How the hell did he manage to do that after eating a guillotine and a spear? Both men clearly know what is at stake here. Roman Reigns knows he can't allow Ambers and Wage to win this match. The only male single title that will be left in the WWE will be the United States Championship. CM Punk has walked out. With the undisputed championship of Dean Ambrose connecting a power driver on top of a structure. 
He's beating a living hole out of Saint Wallace. What does he have in mind next? He's in a power bomb position again. Dean Ambrose tosses Saint Wallace from that structure. And now he jumps on top of him. What the hell? Have we just seen Dean Ambrose taking himself off in the process? Both Saint Wallace and Dean Ambrose is on court. I don't think. They will be able to continue. Brian Page in the meantime in control of Roman Reigns. It looks like a, fire, a table has been lit on fire outside of the ring. Brian Page now with the sunset flip power bomb to Roman Reigns, knocking him outside of the ring. Brian Page now also going for a power bomb. We have just seen one of the most devastating problems of all time. Dean Ambrose throwing Saint Wallace off of a huge structure. I think it's going to be up to Roman Reigns and Brian Rage to determine who's going to walk out the victory here tonight. Dean Ambrose and Saint Wallace is out cold and there's no way. They can continue fighting in this match. Brian Page lining Roman Reigns up on top of the ladder. And now going for top for Phoenix Splash. Which connects on top of that ladder. Roman Reigns' back looked like it snapped. He can't climb the ladder with a broken back. Clever strategy there by Brian Page. Looks like Brian Wade's now turning his attention to that flaming table. And he spears Roman Wade through the flaming table. Using Roman Wade's own signature move to spear against him. I think Brian Wade has this one in the back. Roman Wade's out outside of the No, Wade's making it back his feet slowly but surely. Brian Wage hasn't captured the WWE Universal Championship yet as Roman Wage looking to prevent him from getting the championship. Roman Wage saving the WWE's chances by knocking Brian Wage off of the ladder but Wage getting back to his feet immediately and knocks Roman Wage and knocks the ladder out from underneath Wage. Now with the power bomb on top of the ladder. Wait with a huge combo. Taking out Roman Reigns. Now an elbow to the head of Roman. While well, these men have beaten the living hell out of each other. Yet the night team ever for St. Rollins has been taken to a local medical facility. It's now confirmed. They won't be able to compete in this match any further. So it's definitely up to Brian Wage and Roman Reigns. Even though it's a 2-on-2 two -two match on paper, it has now become a 1-on-1 -on -one match. Brian Wage now grabbing a steel chair from underneath the ring. And he starts swinging and he isn't stopping anytime soon. Roman Reigns luckily gets a reversal. Now connects a combo of his own now going for a guillotine choke again. It looks like White Wage is escaping a bit early at this time. Maybe he remembered how he got out the previous time and applied that strategy this time. To get out a bit quicker from the wage almost choking him out the previous time. What does Wage have in mind here? Looks like he's targeting that back of Roman Reigns. Now picks him up and just like he did the sick ones, he tosses Roman Reigns into that pink post like a dart. It doesn't look like Brian Wage is stopping any time soon. Whoa! Brian Wage with Roman Reigns in the fireman scary position. Tossing Roman Reigns into that ring post. It doesn't look like Reigns is getting up in Thompson. Does Brian Reigns have this match in the bag? 
Looks like weight is struggling a bit. Losing that universal championship at one weight. In the meantime, getting up and realizing what's going on. Ryan Page, very unfortunate to not get that Universal Championship loose. If Roman Reigns prevents Ryan Page from capturing the Universal Championship of Ryan Page with the Universal right now, a from Rage from the top of the ladder, I think Roman Reigns is out. Ryan Page now going to the top of the ladder, but this time. He's climbing to the top and he connects another Phoenix Splash. This has to be it. I don't know what else Brian Wade could do to put Roman away. Looks like Wade isn't done yet with Wade in the power one position. Wade now throwing Roman Wade out of the ring. And this time it doesn't look like Roman Wade is getting up. Who the hell is this Conor McGregor? Knocking the platter out from underneath Wage. Conor McGregor has costed Ryan Wage and Dean Ambrose the Universal and the Intercontinental Championships and he knocks Ryan Wage out with the bomb house kick now picking up the ladder and putting it in position. What the hell? Does McGregor have in mind you? He's picking up Roman Wage. It looks like he's signaling for Roman Wage to go and unhook those championships. Roman Reigns realizing what just happened and he's wasting no time to capitalize on the situation. Roman Reigns unhooks the Universal and Intercontinental Championships and the Universal and Intercontinental Championships will stay in the WWE thanks to Conor McGregor. Why the hell did he help Roman to win this match? It doesn't look like Brian Wage is very happy with the outcome of this match. Now the spin kick to the head of Roman Reigns. Brian Wage can't be happy about this one bit. Now connecting a road rage on Roman Wage. It doesn't look like he's finished with him just yet. Going for another road rage. Saying goodbye Roman Reigns and good riddance. Rage now exiting the ring and he picks up the Universal Championship. What the hell? Ryan Rage is living with the Universal Championship. Where the hell is he taking that championship? Remember, his WWE contract expires midnight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I guess we'll have to find out next time. Thank you for tuning in.